yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome all to the Master Leong Show. Yeah, so today we'll talk about Hai Di Lao. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let me say hi to you all. So now it's a bit early. La. I'm like seven minutes earlier. Oh, because today I'm not doing the market update. What's the past two days, yesterday and today? Purely I focus on doing my slides on Hai Di Lao. So it is quite a deep sharing. Because Hai Di Lao is a bit different from other companies. Uh, Hai Di Lao, if we just look at the numbers, then there will be no meaning. If I was a lot of people asking, Master, can you cover the Hai Di Lao uh, 2023 full year earnings? If I just do the earnings, there's no meaning. You will see, oh, revenues go up, earnings go up. But, but what does this mean? Uh, what, uh, that, what does the numbers translate? So to understand Hai Di Lao, you must understand the story. Yeah, the story is as important. As, as the numbers so today the first half i'll talk about the story then the second half we talk about the numbers then in the end i will answer your golden question master hi ti lao can buy or not yeah so e kick welcome welcome yeah master is doing well so yesterday i did not stream so some of you are worried so don't worry now this master i don't stream every day already i'm changing my, my direction now because i want to do this long term i want it to be sustainable so I, I I think like streaming every Monday to Friday, no point. Like, like yesterday, Hong Kong was holiday, not much news. That, then I don't uh, do the market update, uh, especially if it's nothing important or it's very quiet. Then maybe I don't do market update. Yeah, so I just do whatever I like to do. Like Hai Di Lao, I'm very interested. I, I've been following Hai Di Lao for, for the past few years already. But the Hai Di Lao, like the numbers is very er er erratic. Yeah, so if I show the numbers, then you, you won't understand. But once I tell you the story, then everything will, will, will make sense. So LY, Tiger Shark, welcome, welcome. TL Cha, today I buy a lot of Ping An. After buying, immediately dropped 2% chance. Today, I think the Hong Kong market opening was down 2%. Then afterwards, it recovered. Then and it was flat. La. So, so slightly down. So Pingan is at the support level near $33 because there's an 8% dividend yield. So at $33, I think it should be well supported. A lot of dividend investors will come in to buy because uh, for Pingan, this, this work year, 2-3, they maintain the dividends. And management guided that 2-4 this year, the earnings will be higher. So the, the dividend 8% is the base already. This year, the next dividend will be higher or, or the same. So it's a very good dividend stock plus a recovery play. Chuya, welcome, welcome. Boon, good evening. Ah, yeah, so Alibaba, today it fell below 70, then it closed at 70. So 70 is a very strong support. Like I mentioned, they are doing about 5 billion of share buybacks every quarter. So I don't see Alibaba dropping towards $60 or what. Unlikely, uh, 70 will be a strong support for Alibaba because of the share buybacks. Ping An, $33 will be a strong support because of the 8% dividend yield. So for the Hong Kong market, like what I keep repeating, most likely it has bottom. Like you see, so sometimes it gets sold down 1 or 2%, but it bounces up. I either because of the share buybacks, the dividend yield, or the national team buying. So there's a lot of reasons uh, that is supporting the Hong Kong market. That's why it's not crashing further. Although like Doomberg, uh, Western media continue to spread fear and that China feels uninvestable for most people. So this is the support level, but it's also where I want to keep buying. Every month, Master is uh, DCAing. When will China recover? I don't know. I will just keep buying. Eventually, it will recover. So so that's the thinking. Jasper Lim, welcome. Clash 11, welcome. Oh, thanks for support. Uh, I think many people interested in this company. Uh, in the past, you all keep asking me to cover Hai Di Lao. So Hai Di Lao, like I mentioned, uh, uh, I want to cover, but it's not easy to cover. Uh, uh, it, it, for me, I research a lot. Uh, I even read the book on, on Hai Di Lao. I read, read the audio book uh, on, on Hai Di Lao. Uh, then then uh, to understand the management, all this. So it's a very deep company. It's actually very deep. Or, or you think about the brand, you think about hot pot, it's easy to think about Hai Di Lao. Or is you think that it's a very easy business, but it's more than meets the eye. Or BTC, OI, OE, uh, welcome, welcome. Bui Chong, welcome, welcome. 
Uh, so what are all the regulars here already? Okay, Edmund Choi, Hai Di Lao is China or Singapore company? Huh? You, you know the answer, but right? you're joking. Right? Uh, it's both, uh, both, both. <laughs> Yeah, so Chucky, J Lo, Anantas, Jackie Lee, Harry C J L, everyone is here. Welcome, welcome. So let us begin. So today Master will do the deep dive on Hai Di Lao. Oh, everything looks good. So let us begin. So the story of Hai Di Lao. The CEO, the founder is called Zhang Yong. Also oh, he's from uh Sichuan. So Sichuan is famous for what? Hot pot. And Sichuan people what they like to do? They like to play mahjong. So in 1994, 30 years ago, he opened his first restaurant uh, uh, by partnering with three people. One is his wife and another is his uh, two friends. Yeah, so they each have an equivalent stake of 25%. And how they got the name Hai Di Lao? They got the Hai Di Lao, right? By when the four of them together, they play Mahjong. And you play Mahjong, right? Or oh, when you, there's the Hai Di Lao Yue. Oh, there's the Hai Di Lao Yue. So those that play Mahjong know Hai Di Lao Yue. Or oh, you get thing and you hu Hai Di Lao Yue. Oh, it's very nice. So that's where they get the, the, the name Hai Di Lao. And subsequently, uh, over the next two decades, he actually bought out the stakes from all the remaining founders. And in the end, he and his wife, I think now they hold about 60%. Uh, of of the stake in Hai Di Lao, and he's now the richest man in Singapore. I think this was pre 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 COVID. I think because during uh COVID period, uh, the lockdowns, the the uh, Hai Di Lao, the stock price crashed uh, almost seventy five percent from as high as I think sixty dollars, it crashed to fifteen dollars or three quarters gone. So I'll talk about uh that later. So Hai Di Lao, uh, what is uh, different of uh, Hai Di Lao as compared to other hot pot uh, restaurants because hot pot in Chinese culture is very common. There's so many hot, hot pot stores, be it in China or be it in Singapore. In China, easily thousands of, of different over brands. Uh, in Singapore, hundreds over different hot pot store. What it makes Hai Di Lao the most successful hot pot chain in the world? Uh, with over 1,000 over uh, restaurants. So the uh, the ingredient lies in management. So there's this, uh, plus I'm a person who studied business and management studies. So I read a lot of business books. I read a lot of investing books. I also read a lot of books on poker. So all this is my interest. So I read this book called Hai Di Lao. Chang, uh, uh, so uh, ni xue, ni, the, the one behind actually, Hai Di Lao, ni xue bu hui. Uh, I, I read this book before. So I'm very inspired. Where's the other one? Chan Ying, uh, uh, Jing Ying the Pu Si Chan Ying means Hai Di Lao, uh, what is managing, right? It's not food. Huh? The, the, this is the first book. The be, behind one is Hai Di Lao Yu Xue Bu Huan means what you cannot, uh, you are uh, unable to learn the things that you are unable to learn from uh, Hai Di Lao. So, as a common folk, right? When you go to a Hai Di Lao, uh, what is your impression of Hai, Hai Di Lao? If you have to describe Hai Di Lao in one word, the word will probably be service. You feel like a king so like 60 percent of my viewers is from singapore so i myself right i've been to Hai Di Lao in singapore four times also I, i'm not really a customer of Hai Di Lao. master is a type of man. i do, don't really spend big uh, on Hai Di Lao, but i have friends who go to Hai Di Lao weekly or even monthly so the four times that i went right only one time is i i paid for it is i went with my girlfriend two people then we spent about uh, 80 dollars for for two people then the other three times that I went is my friend, either their birthday or when I was a competitive card gamer, uh, one of them uh, win the, the tournament, then they get a price payout of like 10, 20k US dollar. So, so they treat uh, the, the team to Hai Di Lao. So the first three times I went Hai Di Lao, all I never pay, all, all is my friend treat me one, because usually I, I don't have such so-called high spending. Oh, but that my experience with Hai Di Lao is very good, although I, I'm not their target, so-called target audience. Also, the first thing you go there, you'll notice that there's a long queue. Or oh, like we go there in the middle of the night, like 10 p.m., then we have to wait almost uh, one or two hours. Then while at the waiting area, I think this one is at the Clark Key. So I went to this one before. I think it's at the Clark Key area. Then they will give you some snacks, all this. Then for a female, you can do your uh, me medicure. Then for those family people in the day, they also have like this uh, mini playground for you to put your kids. Yeah, so 
Uh, the, while waiting, oh, you, you are very well served already. And once you, you go in and, and start the hot pot, wow, it's like, wow, it's like a circus like that. Wow, there, there's so many shows. Like, like in China, right, the one they have the Bian Lian. Singapore, I don't know have Bian Lian or not. I never experienced the Bian Lian. Means there's a performance uh, on the ground. What I experienced a few times before is the la the mian you order the noodle in front of you wow they, they, they swing 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 the noodle then people will take video all this yeah so so or is your birthday then they'll sing happy birthday song for you and, and give you a free cake so their service right wow it gives you a very nice touch or that they really service you to the max or example they give you uh the plastic uh, to put your mobile phone. To, uh, to wipe your, your lens, wipe, wipe your mobile lens or wipe your the spectacle lens, and the hairband. Then uh, they also give you the hot towel. Also, the service is really very good. So the big question uh, I uh, people will often wonder is, what high be loud, right? How come I go to, example, the Boogie's restaurant, normal hot pot restaurant? Those are service people are from Malaysia or China one, or the face back back. Always give me attitude one. Like, what you want? What you order? They very busy. Wow. Never service me one. But I go to uh, Haiti Lao Yi. Wow. How come the staff, they are so motivated? What wow. can service me so well? So uh, the answer is very simple. Because of one thing. Money. <laughs> Haiti Lao, the staff, right? They are paid very well. So in China, right? So Haiti Lao in China, Fu Yuan, the most basic level, right? Their pay is 5,000 to 8,000. <laughs> Also, you don't so people you don't uh, need any qualifications or even like primary school education. You can work as as a uh, as a serviceman already. Then you get five thousand to eight thousand. That is like degree holder kind of pay uh, in 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 China. So that that's high. But what really motivates them huh, to uh, go beyond their, their normal duties is the promotion to one day become a tian zhang means to become a captain. So from Fu Yuan, you can become like small manager, then you become a big manager, then lastly you become captain. So captain, right, your base salary is about 30,000 Chinese Yuan per month. But the average captain, they make about 100 to 120,000 Chinese Yuan per month. That's equivalent to about 20,000 Sing dollar, or their monthly salary. Eh. Can you imagine once you're promoter to Tian Zhang, that means you're captain of the shop. So one shop maybe the, the there's about fifty workers. So if you work very hard in a shop, right? Or example, everything is fair. There's one in fifty chance that you can become the captain and you earn twenty thousand monthly salary. So the monetary reward is huge. That's why they are so motivated uh, to perform. And what I read from the book, right, is that the management of Hai Di Lao, how they manage the staff, uh, is very different. They give empowerment. Even as a low level staff, right? Example, oh, uh, they accidentally spill the water, wet your clothes or what? Then they have the power or to say, okay, mian tan. Mian tan means no need to uh, pay for the bill. We let you eat for free. This $200, we, we waive it for you. Even the lowest level staff, they, they are able to make a decision. All the staff, they are empowered or to make a certain financial decision up to a certain amount. So everyone, they, they feel that they have responsibility they contribute to the shop and once you reach a certain level example let's say you are the manager level you get a split of the net profit you get a small percentage zero point something percent of the net profit as a bonus of the monthly profits so the shop most or not all the high detail shops they are profitable so you get a split of the profit a percentage of the profit that makes it the most rewarding part of being an employee of high dealer you have also uh, 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 we as a shareholder right we are uh, uh, entitled to the earnings and also the dividends so these employees they are also a stakeholder they are entitled to the shop part of the net profit especially the tian zhang tian zhang means the the captain so the captain right once you reach the captain level you have two choices or the first choice is that you get uh, your own that restaurant that you are managing right you get 2.8 percent of the profit uh, then, ba, ba, sen, the, uh, uh, li, li, it means the, the net profit so it not it's not a percentage of revenue because you revenue then you can just sell a lot or uh, but but you are not profitable no meaning so 
revenue minus expenses. Each shop is the performance based on the, the net profit that they make, how profitable they are. The more profitable it is, the more you get rewarded. But 90% of the captain, the Tian Zhang, they don't take the num the, this choice. They take the second choice. Tian Zhang la zi zi chan ting ling dian si ba xian the 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 li dun or pas tu di the the uh li dun the san dian yi ba xian. So when you are the Tian Zhang, right, you can get one tu di. Tu di means disciple. So you can groom a person or to 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 teach them a part all your management skill. That's why it brings a very uh how I say ah. Uh, a culture of teaching and learning and supporting each other. You will see that the captain is very willing to guide the managers, to motivate the managers and to teach the managers. So everyone progress very fast because these managers, right, if they perform well, right, then Hai Di Lao post IPO has been growing very fast. Every year they open a few hundred new outlets. And when you open a new outlet, you need a captain to run the outlet, am I right? So these managers, right, they can be promoted into captain to become Tian Zhang. And once they become the captain of the new shop, you get 3.1% of the new shop, the, the profit. Also, that's very profitable. And this new captain, right, of the new shop, right, it will also start to teach other managers and guide other managers. And when these managers go to another shop, you also earn 1.5%. Uh, of the profit from that shop. Also, because of this incentive model, it becomes a very virtuous cycle of uh, the captain supporting the managers and the managers also supporting the staff. Everyone has a financial incentive. Uh, because in China, China people, the character is very easy to understand. All Chinese people right, in China have only have one religion, and that religion is money. Everyone is financially motivated, as simple as that. But how to balance between the monetary reward, between the shareholder, the staff, and also the, the suppliers. So that's the balance that Hai Di Lao does very well. So the, and their system right, doesn't uh, discriminate you, whether you are old, whether you are young, whether you are degree holder, whether you are primary school education, everybody can make it big and become a Tian Zhang, to become a captain, or to make the $20,000 per month, the $120,000 Chinese Yuan per month. As long as you work hard, you're willing to learn, you're willing to teach, then you can be successful. So most of these Tian Zhang, right, they're actually quite young. Example, in this documentary, right, you can see this Tian Zhang, Hu Xiao Zhen, ah. also uh, uh, is the Hangzhou Shi Dian uh, Jing Li. So, uh, 恭喜你当店长, so congrats that you become a manager already. So, wow, so she looks quite young in, in her 30s. But you see the eye bag, huh? well, eye bag means it's, it's quite shag. So, it's not easy to be a, the, the captain. You really work hard, but you really lead uh, the, the team. And do, they don't discriminate you. So, most of these managers are actually in their early 30s. Imagine your early 30s, you can make 20k sing dollar per, per month. So the reward is there. And there are news that the youngest Hai Di Lao Tian Zhang, as young as 26 or 28 like that, I read before the news. So if you are willing to work hard, or just within maybe 6 or to 8 years, you can fast track to become a captain already. So so 6 to 8 years, you so chang bu chang, so dan bu dan. Or it's not that super super fast, or, or it's very long, but it's, it's very reasonable target. Imagine you, you drop out uh, from your university, then you are age 20, then you go high di lao, you chong chong chong, 6 years, 8 years, 26, 28, you become captain, making 20 casing dollar per month. So, so that's the dream, that's the target. But it's not easy. La. So the turnover rate for staff is actually very high. There are a lot of people who join high di lao, right? Or 3 days they quit already, or, or just 3 weeks they quit already. So almost half the, the, the new staff are within the first month will quit. Those is super high turnover rate. But if you are willing uh, to uh, work hard, then you are greatly rewarded. So it, they, are, they will only retain people with characteristics, for example, with teamwork or willing to take hardship yeah, and, and are, are motivated. So that are the characteristics. So that's the human part of Hai Di Lao. Or then now you are more familiar. Then there's another part that a lot of people don't know is this the chain supply part of Hai Di Lao. 
that makes it so successful. So high de lao, right? For most hot pot, right, they just get the goods from supplier, own shop, make the soup and service the customer, rent the shop. For high de lao, their advantage, right, is a bit like BYD, build your dreams, EV vehicle. They own the whole chain supply. Or they own shop, procure the, 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 the goods, uh, all this packaging, uh, all these ingredients, uh, all, all these different sauce. Uh, then they even example you eat the the salad la all this they, they own self pack la the sliced meat la the sliced seafood la all they, they prepare themselves and all of them they send it to their to the the shop and they manage it through their own chain supply so I did now or by Chang Yong is actually super huge it's more than just a hot pot restaurant. And you can see in this table, right, the high de lao stock that you own is in the middle, high de lao. But it's supported by four different areas. And all these four core companies, right, they are either listed in Hong Kong or they are listed in, in China. Or uh, so and their major shareholder is all Zhang Yong. But for us, Hai Di Lao shareholder, we only own the middle one, Hai Di Lao. So example, the top one, example, Su Hai. Su Hai, right, uh, pro provides uh, uh, this the ingredients, example like seafood, la, meat, la, vegetable to Hai Di Lao. So they are actually the, the food supplier and they are a listed company or in, in mainland. Then there's also the uh, Wei Hai. Wei Hai, what they produce is a uh, manpower. So it is like a hu human resource company. Oh, uh, and, uh, and they propose Hai Di Lao, right? Like I mentioned, the turnover is huge and how you manage the people, how you promote them. So Hai Di Lao, right? Their structure, right? Is very fluid, right? Example, you do very well, suddenly the next day you get a letter that you're promoted already. But sometimes you promote to, let say, senior manager, but you F up. People complain you, or when they do the evaluation, they, they will grade you A, B, C, D, that like you get a C grade. Then you get downgraded. So although that there's four levels, right? People, sometimes they get promoted, but then the next uh, year or the next uh, quarter, they get demoted. You actually up, down, up, down. Eh? So when people are demoted, then they reflect and they improve. Then they, they chong again. They, they, they push forward. They try to learn more, improve on themselves. Then they get re-promoted again. So the, the, it's very fluid for, for their manpower. And uh, for the sauce, la, all the uh, condiments, all this uh, is provided by Yihai. Example, your, your soup base, all this. And lastly, because they open so many shops, right? All the new shops, they need to rent. They need to do renovation. It's managed by uh, Su Yun. Or uh, Tong Fang. So, all these four companies, right, in, they are all controlled by Zhang Yong, the, the founder of uh, Hai Di Lao. In the beginning, all four of them, right, they only serve Hai Di Lao. But why did he choose to list all these four companies? Because now they are even bigger. They serve other businesses, other FMB businesses. Uh, so, so, the Hai Di Lao model, right, actually has been applied to other businesses, or other franchise, like beef noodle or even Chinese dumplings. And so, they do their business also. They supply material, they do renovation for them, and they manage the manpower for them. Also, Zhang Yong is very smart. He actually built the entire uh, system. So, that is the advantage uh, for Hai Di Lao. So, Hai Di Lao, right, the IPO in 2018 uh, in the Hong Kong exchange at the stock price of $17.80. So at the today's price is about $17 plus. Uh. So the stock price has gone nowhere or, uh, for the past six years. So looking at the financials, you want to investigate. Or uh, is Hai Di Lao still a growth company? Can buy or not? Does it still have potential or not? So for Hai Di Lao, right, when the IPO in 2018, right, look at the track record. You see, 2015, it did about 5 over billion of revenues and it grew by 50% to 7.8 billion. Then grew another 50% 50, 50 to 10 billion. Then 10 billion grew another 60%, 50% to 70 billion. So it's a super high growth stock when the IPO and everybody rushed uh, to, to, to buy. In the first day, IPO, I think it rallied 20-30%. It was valued at 5-0, 50 times earnings. 50 times earnings because it can grow at 50%. So Hai Di Lao is like the Tesla of FMV, 50% growth rate. So you can see here the profits also double, double and double, keep doubling. Then the revenues 
grew at 50%. So that's why it gets very high uh, valuations. So high Lao, what is the business model of, of growth? It's similar to McDonald's. You open more outlets, you sell more goods, you have more customers. So from 2017, yeah, 200 over outlets, it grew to a peak of almost 1,600 outlets or in 2021. So what is 20 and what is 21? It was the lockdown period, the COVID period. So you might be hey, thinking, how come 21? Or why the growth is still high despite the lockdown? So despite the lockdown, right, they, they thought that it would be something short term because Zhang Yong in the past, right, he experienced before the SARS in 2003. It, was, it only happened for one year and it was quite fast. So he thought that the lockdown will only be for one year. So they continued their aggressive expansion. Then he realized it. The management later on realized their mistake that they are too aggressive, and business is declining rapidly. And they started to make losses. So in two zero two one, right, because of the continuous and even more strict lockdown, they choose to close two hundred and sixty of their outlets, almost three hundred outlets. Ah, because uh, thirty two of them went for renovation and 260 was uh, permanently closed. So they choose to close almost 20% of their outlet. So that's very decisive. And I think that was the correct decision, but that hurt their financial numbers. So you can see, right, in uh, 2020, although the revenues continue to grow, but because of the virus, right, profits totally dropped by 90%. From 2 billion over profits become 300 million. So the profits crash because you, you are getting less customers uh, due to the, the, the restrictions of, of the dying. Then you must have a lot of protocol like wear the mask, uh, sanitization and limiting uh, your dining hours. So in 2-1, right, they continue to expand 1,600 stores was, was their peak. So revenues continue to grow. But then the second half, they realized their mistake. Then they started to shut down uh, the 260 store. So because the start shutdown, right, like you already ran the place, you, you merely want to close down, you suffer a huge loss, like the renovation costs, forfeiting your, your deposits uh, to the shopping mall landlord. Uh. So it became a huge loss of 4 billion, 4 billion. So, so this one is very dangerous because if it continues to be loss making, Heidi Lao could even go bankrupt. That's why from this point on, right, the stock actually went on a decline. And it crashed seventy five uh, percent, and it, and when the stock was at sixty dollar level, the insiders was selling their share, not not the founder. Like, I think the co founder and the upper management dumped their shares. That that uh, exacerbated the, the 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 sell down. Then in uh two zero two two with lesser store, you see that the revenues started to decline, but they, at least they reverse back to profitability. So now it's two zero uh. Fall. So last year 2023, their full year performance improved significantly. Why? Because of the reopening. So revenues all grew at 33.6%. So the big question, wow, Master Haiti Lao is the growth back. Is it back to growth mode? Because Haiti Lao has always been uh, thought of as a growth stock. So revenues went from 30 billion to 40 billion. Or oh, that, that's a huge uh, growth rate of over. 30%. Profits tripled oh, from 1.6 billion to 4.4 billion. So, so the numbers are very strong for 2023 due to the reopening. People go back to restaurants. So to see the complete picture, right, you must look at the number of Haidi Lao restaurants. At the peak was one th almost 1,600. But the past one year, they only opened three new restaurants. Basically no growth. No growth. So if you ask me, right, honestly, right, is Heidi Lao a, a growth company? Answer is no. Gone are the days of growth already. They already in China, right? Everywhere already have Heidi Lao, and it, it's hard for them to expand anymore. I would say Heidi Lao, the hot pot business, is in the maturity stage already. It's matured already. Uh, so, uh, Heidi Lao. One thing is that, right. When they were expanding very rapidly, right? Some some sh shopping malls, right? Side by side, right? They have two high lao. Or you, like example, this one is full. Then the customer service will tell you that you walk across the street. You can go to another high lao. 
just across the street only. That's how close they are because business was so good and business uh, was was booming. Oh, and highly Lao in the past, right, they have a very strong competitive advantage in terms of their cost advantage. Also, like big brands like McDonald's, Starbucks, Haidi Lao, they enjoy actually preferential rental rates. So, example, McDonald's and Starbucks, usually you find them on the first floor. Uh, and first floor is usually the most expensive renter, but yet they, their renter they pay right is actually very low because McDonald's and Starbucks, they are able to attract huh, the, 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 the crowd to the shopping mall. So the landlords will give them low rental rates. Then high Lao, right, or is one step even further. They, they are not on the first floor, but sometimes, example, like I go to the one in IMM. IMM is like so located, like so inside, inside. So some of them, they're actually quite quite hard to locate, but yet people still go to them. So they can take a more rural area, more deserted area, and they can take up a huge space. Or, and people will still go to the high Lao. And that was during the, their growth stage when they were super popular. So for most F&B or even retail, right, usually about 5 to 10% of their revenues goes to renter. How much percent of high Lao revenues goes to renter? Just one to two percent only because they enjoy such a low rental cost either because the landlord gives them a preferential rate because they are able to bring a lot of food for like people come eat high they have to wait two hours maybe they go walk around the shopping mall then they enjoy their buffet so it brings a lot of traffic that's why they get low rental rates or because people are willing to, to travel far to the high Lao restaurant they can get uh the, those like higher floor or more deserted areas and usually the, the rental cost is lower so high Lao because of their strong brand they have an advantage when it terms it comes to rental cost so high Lao right now we see that the number of outlets is stagnant already at 1300 what is their strategy ahead it's a mature business so master ah, is high Lao a dinosaur company is it a dinosaur or gone case already no more growth already. Then the number of outlets stagnant. Is it a dinosaur? My answer is no, it's not a dinosaur. How are they going to grow? They're going to grow by improving their profitability and efficiency. So they are slowing down the pace of their restaurant network. They're not growing through opening more stores. They are grow growing through, they are improving each individual store. And they set up an innovation and entrepreneur office. Also, this is more towards embracing technology to digitalize Haiti Lao. And for the group, right, they also expand into different brands, which, which I'll, I'll talk about later. So example in Singapore, right, like you order Haiti Lao, gone are the days, uh, you, you order, then, then people write it down or what. So everything is digitalized. You use a digital menu. And once you order, example, you order your hot pot soup base, you choose the, the uh, four, 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 uh, four different segment section, right? Then you maybe you choose three soup base. So immediately, right? This order once you press confirm, it will be sent to the kitchen behind, and the robot huh, will actually choose the soup base and they'll put it into the pot, and then they will put in the water. Then the staff bring it out and put it to you. So everything is automated. It's the automated soup preparation machine, or even China, even Singapore, everything is digitalizing already then when you order that be it seafood ah, vegetable ah, all this when you order immediately they get the order and very quickly they send it to you because everything is linked so back in the kitchen right you will see that actually this all this robot already all the food is already put on the shelf <coughs> and it's as own coding so once you order the robot arm will, will take all all these so-called uh, pre-prepared plates ah, and they have the inventory management and they will place it on this robot, I see this mini robot, or San Si Hao Zuo, number 30 table. And then they will, the robot will just uh, bring it to you. So everything is uh, digitalizing. So now become more efficient. That means you use less worker and you can produce more. So, so digitalization is the trend to go. And more and more restaurants uh, will be doing this. And Haidi Lao is a pioneer in using like robotics la, and using this so-called uh, cloud technology. To, to digitalize and another way they can improve on their uh, earnings right is to expand into different brands so uh, they have they do like BBQ they also have like fast 
uh, fast food, so called fast food like that. Like, it's like canteen kind of restaurant. Uh, 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 then also they also have the high end restaurants. So they are actually branching into different brands. So this one I'm not too optimistic going into other brands because this is uncertainty. I don't know their other brands will, will do well or not. But what is the percentage? I'll talk about it uh, later. So uh, for 2023, right, High Dilao, the revenues are up 30%, earnings triple. They actually boom. Or they actually boom uh, because of the Kermu San dance performance. So you read the news, you see that hey, there's a slowdown in consumer spending. So people might think that High Dilao will be hurt. But one way that they improve on their business, right, is to embrace social media. So one way they digitalize is through using social media like Douyin. And they do a certain entertainment. Like in the past, I showed you they have the Pian Lian, they have the La the Mian, but all after some time, people get bored already. So now, example, you go to the restaurant, you can ask for this Kermu San, or, and this dance move went viral or receiving more than 60 million likes, more than 5 billion views on the Douyin. So like you go to Haiti Dao, you tell the handsome boy or, or the pretty lady that, 我要科目三. So what is Kermu San? So this is a very uh, China thing. La. So in China, right, when you are going for a test, right, Kermu actually means subject. So there's subject one, subject two, subject three. And it's more for small children. Or like you go to kindergarten, or maybe there are three tests. Kermu yi, Kermu e, Kermu san. Subject one is maybe language. Or then subject two maybe is art. Then subject three is dancing. So Kermu san is actually dance. And then they have this own music and this theme. So, so it's a very, how I say that, very trendy kind of uh, dance. Uh, I'll shake the backside, shake the hand. Or you go online, you, you just search for the video. Uh, or I'm not playing any video here. Uh. So it be it very viral. And so a lot of people... Uh, will, will just uh, take video of it and, and post it on their social media. And some of the, their tian, tian yuan, uh, that means this service staff, uh, they become wang hong, they become famous for doing uh, this Kermu San dance. So for 2023, right, actually the spending came down. Like you see for mainland China restaurants, right, the average spending per guest uh, from 103 RMB actually dropped by 5-6%. To ninety-seven dollars, so people are actually spending less. They want value for money, and they tighten their wallet a bit. Or they still want to go to Haiti Lao, but they don't want to spend so much. So because of their uh, social media efforts and going viral, right? So more people come to the restaurants. So the table turnover rate increased from two point nine percent to three point eight. Uh, sorry, two point nine times to three point eight times. So what is uh? Table turnover rate. Example, your restaurant got, got 10 tables. Also, your entire day, right, there's 20 group of people who uh, came into your restaurant and eat. So that your table turnover is 20 divided by 10. Average, your each table, you serve two group of people. Also, that's the ta uh, table turnover. So for high Lao, right, a table turnover of 3.8 means average every table, right, every day serve 3.8 groups of customers. So what is the industry average? For Chinese restaurants, right, the industry average is usually about two times table turnover. Two times. So high Lao is super high standard. It's almost four. Double the industrial average. So you go to any Chinese restaurant, right? Usually they are one table, right? Uh, one day average one day uh, can have two times turnover. That's very good already. Usually it's the dinner time, right? 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, 7 to 8 p.m. you serve one group, 8 to 9 p.m. you serve another group. Then 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 that's uh, two times uh, table turnover. So for Hai Di Lao during their peak days, like like 2018, uh, when they IPO, then they're growing very fast. The table turnover was as high as five times. Five times. So this is one area that they can improve back. If if the table turnover goes to five times, then their revenues will, will grow by another 20, 30 percent. So for this Hai Di Lao, right, uh, the main Hong Kong listing Hai Di Lao International, right, the restaurants that they own is China, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, or which is called like the main, <laughs> main mainland uh, sets. Uh, or, so 96% uh, is from China, then 3.5% is from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan region, 3.5%. So 
uh, most of your revenues come from the China market. So if you want exposure to like Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, or uh, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, also got Hai Di Lao. So all these are where is Southeast Asia. So Southeast Asia, they have about 70 outlets. It's under this super high international. The stock code is 9658. So I think in two years ago, uh, I think 2022, they give this out as a special dividend or they give out the shares because business was bad. They, they did not give a cash dividend. So they give stock dividend. So you, uh, pre previous owners of Haidi Lao, you will be holding onto this shares, same as the Tencent give the JD shares and the Meituan shares. So Haidi Lao, they give their Asia and international business out as a special dividend. So for me, right, I prefer, if you invest in Haidi Lao, you actually want the China exposure. So in future, I, I might cover the, the, the international business. Uh, but I think it's a much smaller company uh, and it's uh, less exciting. Uh. So, so today I won't be covering this. So for uh, Haidi Lao, right, another of their so-called new growth engine will be live streaming. So live streaming is booming, or be it like uh, uh, Douyin, uh, Kuaishou, uh, or the Taobao Zibo, right? Oh, live streaming is where we saw 40% growth rate in 2023. So Haidi Lao is also doing live streaming and they achieved uh, 100 million views and over 100 million GMV on Douyin or the, the ByteDance platform. So that's where they are pushing for growth. So you can see that this is their Zibo Jian, their live stream Haidi Lao. Uh, so for the live stream, right, they, they don't how pop business how to live stream what are you gonna sell so they actually sell high de lao products so what products do they have they have like instant rice la they have the self heating uh, noodles la they also have the snacks like the uh, phoenix core la, or chicken feet la, chicken, spicy chicken feet la. they also have the you can make your own hot pot at, at home they have the soup base uh, whether it's the tomato soup base whether it's the mana soup base so they are selling all these so-called snacks and food related products. So what is the contribution? So although they have 100 million uh, GMV, so 100 million as a group right, is actually very small. Only. So you can the sales of their food, right? You can see from 662 million, it grew to 788. So they actually started a live streaming during the lockdown period and they are now still doing it. And just now I mentioned the, the, the other different restaurant brands. It's the other restaurants operation. So the, the new segment of growth through other brands and, and through selling snacks, all this, it contributes very small, less than 3% only. Because the main restaurant business is so huge, 39 billion, 39 billion in revenues. So that's massive. So they also have the delivery business, which I think is gone case. Uh. The other business is they bring the, the hot pot, uh, the whole set uh, up to your house so you can uh, have, have the Haidi Lao hot pot at home. This this worked well during the lockdown period. And you can see in 2-2 it was 4% of revenue, but now already reopening. Reopening then no point people order the delivery business. So I won't be surprised if they close this down. So of the so the when you invest in Haidi Lao, the main business is still the hot pot business. This is the cash count. But like I said, it's, it's maturing already. They are not opening uh, new outlets aggressively. So where is the growth? I, I'm not so optimistic of their other restaurant business. So the growth should be coming from the sale of all these like uh, food products. But on the flip side, right? But I, I don't have the details. I don't know if they caught how, how they recognize the revenues. So like I mentioned, they have other subsidiary providing the food, providing the sauce, all this. So I think most of the revenues is actually booked by the subsidiary, the one that provide the food. Whereas the high the this counter, right, you, it only takes a commission, like for the use of the brand or what. So I don't think it recognized the, the full revenue generation from selling the snacks. Yeah, so the growth is harder to achieve because of the revenue split. So I don't know the details. Uh, or, so I tried to find, but I cannot find. So for the full year two three right, earnings are uh, from thirty cents earnings per share it grew to eighty three cents RMB so almost a uh, triple. So they declared a dividend of uh, RMB seventy four point eight cents. So 
the payout ratio is most of their earnings, only almost 90% of their earnings. So for Haiti Lao, right, uh, they are a super cash cow and they are willing to pay most of their cash out because they don't need the cash to open new stores. So they might as well give, give up all their cash. So why is their balance sheet? Their debt to equity is about 23.9%. So this is on the low side. When they IPO in their initial growth stage, their debt to gearing was as high as 80%. As high as 80% because they are opening few hundred outlets per year. They need to put deposit, rent place from the shopping mall, do renovation, hire people. So that the growth stage was very capital intensive. They have a lot of debt in their balance sheet. So now their debt is very low, very manageable. They have about 6.4 billion of cash in their balance sheet. So their cash uh, against their market cap of 97 billion Hong Kong dollar is about 7% cash to their market cap. But their hot pot business is a super cash cow. So ma, people ask me, Master, ah, so Hai Di Lao can buy or not? So looking at the valuation, I would say that Hai Di Lao is fairly priced. Or it's a fair value for a great company. So the P ratio right, is about 19 times. So this is accurate, ah, the, the P ratio and the dividend of about 82 cents right, is about 5% dividend yield. So PE 19, 5% dividend yield, I think is a fair price for a great company. It's a great company that is fairly priced. So is Hai Di Lao still a growth stock? My answer that is no longer the super high growth like before, like 50% growth rate. I don't think so. Huh? Well, I think the growth rate ahead, it can achieve maybe 20%, 20%. So uh, it, it will be of course faster than Alibaba and Tencent, uh, but, but not as fast as, as uh, like say a tech growth company like ByteDance that can grow at 30%, that, like Meituan that can grow at 25% or, or Kuaiso that can grow at 20 to 30%. So, so it is slower than that. Lah. So to be optimistic, maybe 20% growth or uh, for, for 2024. Like I tell you, the table turnover rate, they can improve it from 3.8 to maybe 4.5 and they can grow from their live streaming uh, business is also another revenue of growth. So for 2024, I expect revenues to go at about 20%. But after that, the growth will slow down. Because now it's a, a rebound due to the reopening. So a more normalized growth right, will be the twice the GDP. So the GDP growth of China is about 5%. 5 so this year, I expect them to go at 20%. Sub, and afterwards, they can go at about 10%. About 10% growth rate. So that's a bit similar to what? McDonald's is similar to Starbucks or because they already become matured already. They are no longer in a high growth stage. And because they are matured, they pay a good dividend. Do I expect them to pay about maybe 90 to 100% all their earnings out as a dividend. So one reason why uh, Hai Di Lao wants to uh, pay out uh, the all their earnings as dividend because 60% of the shares is owned by the founder. Or Zhang Yong, or not the Alibaba Zhang Yong. Or. So this is the Hai Di Lao Zhang Yong. So he and his wife holds about 60% of the stake. So they are both Singaporean already. So for them, right, those mega high net worth, uh, this kind of uh, Chinese billionaire, how, for uh, RMB, right, the Chinese yuan, right, renminbi, is a restricted currency. So it's difficult to move money from China to Singapore. And they don't want to sell their stakes in Hai Di Lao. They want to maintain their stakes. So one way that they can legally openly move their money is through paying themselves dividend. When the company announced the dividend, they can uh, officially convert the RMB earnings into Hong Kong dollar. Then the Hong Kong dollar goes into their Singapore account and they convert the Hong Kong dollar to Sing dollar. Then they use the Sing dollar to buy property in Singapore and they own two GCB at the Gallup Road. So these two property, they paid 27 and 42 million. Also, wow. But, but to them, they are, they, are, they are billionaire. So this is actually not a lot of money. And these two property is side by side. Lah. So they, they own this property. Yeah, so, uh, so the incentive is for the founder to pay himself very good dividend. So I believe Hai Di Lao will be a good dividend stock also. So it's a bit like McDonald's, Starbucks. So for McDonald's, Starbucks, right? 
usually this kind of so-called consumer brand stocks, right? They trade about 20 to 30 times earnings. And their dividend yield uh, can be like 2.5% to about 4%. So usually, if I were to be a buyer of McDonald's or Starbucks, I want to pay the PE ratio at the lower end, about 20 times earnings. So for Haidi Lao, right, I will say that if you really like Haidi Lao, example, you are like my friend, like that every week go eat, eat Haidi Lao, you understand the business, you love the business, you love the culture, you want to be a shareholder of Haidi Lao, now it's an easy buy. It's an easy buy if you love the company. Because you look at the stock price, you see, it IPO six years ago at $17.80. Then it went to as high as $60 or even $80. The $80 is just a short moment, or maybe just a few weeks or a few months. Or a pump, then it dumped. But the peak is more like $60. $60 is where some of their insiders, the co-founder and the management, they sold some of their stakes. Then it all the way went down already. So the price has gone nowhere over the past six years. And six years ago, it was trading at 50 times earnings. Now it's trading at, let's say, 20, 20 times earnings. So 20 times earnings and 5% dividend yield. So what is your long-term return? Your long-term return is a base return of 5% dividend that it can grow. Let's say it can grow at 10% every year. So that's a total return of 15%. 10% revenue growth, 5% dividend for a total return of 15%. It's a high growth, it's a blue chip company, it's in the Hansen Index. So if you own 2800 Hansen Index ETF, then you already own a piece of Haidi Lao. So it's a mix between dividend and growth, similar to McDonald's and, and Starbucks. And among the Chinese stocks, right, what among consumer brands, right, this is the easiest one to pick already. If you want consumer brands that you want, what, uh, like a uh, sports shoes, uh, anti leaning, or that, that one is a bit cyclical. You want the Nongfu Sanquan, we don't have access. That one is the Shanghai Shenzhen Exchange, Hong Kong Exchange uh, don't have. So in the Hong Kong market, right, there isn't much con consumer brands that you can pick up. Most of the consumer brands, right, uh, is, is, is actually listed in Shanghai and Shenzhen. Or I like Guizhou Mao Tai, alcohol. Is sub basing the Shanghai Exchange. Example, Meng Niu, which is uh the, the, the milk business, also in the uh the Shanghai Shenzhen composite. So the Hansen Index and the uh, uh Shanghai Shenzhen Composite Index are the components is very different. The the China index is a lot of dinosaur company that like banks, consumer brands, all the and uh oil and gas, uh utilities. Whereas the Hansen Index, right, is banks and, and tech companies, very little consumer brands. So if you your portfolio is very heavy or on financial stocks like ICBC, Ping An, which I covered, very heavy on technology like Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, JD, then you want to diversify a bit into consumer stock. That high Lao is a very good pick. So the reason to buy high Lao is that you want exposure to China consumer stock that you like Haidi Lao, you go to Haidi Lao weekly, monthly, you want to own the business, then Haidi Lao is an easy buy. So the publisher asked, Master, will you buy Haidi Lao? My answer is, I won't buy Haidi Lao. Why would I buy Haidi Lao? Uh, why I won't buy Haidi Lao? Because it's a bit similar to Grab. So I cover stocks like C Limited and Grab. In the end, I never buy Grab, I buy C Limited. Why? Because C Limited, I buy from Shopee. Grab, I understand the business, but I don't use Grab. I'm not a user of Grab. I, I take the bus or BMW or bus, M MRT and, and walk. So same for the con consumer business. Oh, in the Singapore market, I will buy the, the Chang Beer. I will buy Kim Lee. I will buy Sing Song because I use their products. I go to the coffee shop. I go to the supermarket. I buy the beer. I go to Thailand. So I buy things that I use. I understand. Hai Di Lao, I don't really visit it. Uh, maybe two, three years go, go one, two, two years go one time, then it's a friend birthday or something. I, I, I'm not a regular user of Hai Di Lao. That's why I will not own Hai Di Lao. But I don't really, that's the same reason as why I, I'm not owning a uh, Grab. I will only buy Hai Di Lao if the valuation is super cheap, la, like, like 12 times or 15 times earnings. is where I will consider buying Hai Di Lao because it's such a great company, it's too cheap for me not to take a bite. 
uh, that, that's where I will buy Hai Di Lao. Uh, uh, but, but for most people, if you understand Hai Di Lao, you like the business, now is an easy buy. Uh, because you are getting back six years ago IPO price. And they already expand from 300 outlets to now 1,300 outlets. So the number of outlets already 4x. But, but yeah, the stock price is still the same. And now they, they are having new growth engine, like live streaming, selling their own uh, 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 snacks, uh, noodles, uh, all this. Yeah, so so in my in the end, my call for high deal is a buy call. It's a buy call. But I myself I'm not buying. I myself like I mentioned uh, I'm buying the uh, Lingwis and Ping An. Because Lingwis I'm getting half price to book value. Uh, uh seven point five percent dividend. Ping An I, I'm getting thirty percent a forty percent discount to book eight percent dividend. Because my, my portfolio I have a uh, so called growth stocks like S E. Then I have a value tech stocks like uh, Alibaba and JD. So my, my portfolio strategy is I, I want more dividend stocks. That's why I'm more into Link, I'm more into Ping An. But if I want consumer stock, then Hai Di Lao is an easy buy for me. Yeah, so, so that's all my sharing. So I hope you all uh, like, like, like my sharing on Hai Di Lao. Yeah, so 15 minutes. Huh? So it's not easy, you know. Like, you see, I, I started at 8 p.m. I, I one shot talk almost. 45 minutes. So Hai Di Lao is a massive business, but it's not as big as Ping An. Ping An, I had to talk for two hours. <laughs> also, uh, one and a half hour. Our uh, Ping An is one and a half hour. So uh, Hai Di Lao is not as big as Ping An. Ping An is uh, like four different businesses. Hai Di Lao mostly is still the hot pot business. Uh, but you must be aware, right? Uh, there's some, uh, how, how I say, a conflict of interest. Lah. Because Zhang Yong, right? He owns all these other businesses that provide the food, provide the sauce, provide the manpower. And all these businesses is very important to Haidila. But you as a Haidila shelter, you own the hot pot business, you don't own the food, the condiment, the reno and the human resource business. So uh so so I prefer they pack everything together. But but uh, uh, but too bad is uh separate out. So so there is the, the pros and cons. Uh, but so far I would say Zhang Yong, he's a very fair person. Like I mentioned in, in his way, how this his character, like after I study his biography, he is not a person that will play punk and abuse the shareholder. Or because if he abuses the shareholder, he might as well abuse the the, 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 the staff, am I right? So he's a very fair person. When when I read the book on, on the high it's a two hour audio book uh, that, that, that I, I went I, I studied before. So he able to balance the monetary reward, be it the shareholder or the founder or the staff or the supplier or the distributor or, or the middleman. Or he makes it a win for everyone. He can balance it out and everyone can work hard. Everyone can be a winner. So of course, what I explained about their management concept is actually very summarized already. Or the, the actual one is a two hour deep dive. Just on this, uh, just on this, j just on this, how to manage people. It's a two hour audio book. So, so that's how deep uh, the management of, of, of a hot pot is. Uh. The, the key ingredient is management. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's something that other companies are, are not uh, able to rep replicate. replicate. So, so that, that's their uh, success formula. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for tonight. So feel free to ask Master any questions on the Haiti Lao. Yeah. Okay, yeah, wow, so today, okay, not bad. Jeff Du, welcome, welcome. Jared, Cameron, ML, will Ping An price go X dividend? Uh, in and how much? Ping An, I don't know when XD, uh, I never see that. Uh, but, but XD will drop accordingly, uh, but heaven dividend, uh, uh, they must go for the AGM. The AGM, I think, is in May. Then maybe June is, is the dividend, I forget already. So that, that's a few months time la, that I'll update you on, on the dividend. La. Yeah, but, but don't too worry about the dividend affecting the stock price. Yeah, S. E. Huang, Chong Ko Star, First Sergeant Max, oh, David Liu, welcome, welcome. Yeah, David Liu, Master Service also good. Yeah, because I read about books like Hai Di Lao. So you notice that for me, right, uh, my... Okay, so example, when you are in the hot pot restaurant, right, the customer is always right. You will never say that. The customer, like the customer asks me, hey, can you help me do something? You will never say that. The customer request is a stupid request. Am I right? 
I said, hey, you ask me give you tissue paper. Uh, this is a stupid thing. Uh, we don't have tissue paper. Hai Di Lao will never say that. So for my YouTube, I have a bit of the same concept. Uh, like people ask me questions, right? You notice that what question I also answer. Am I right? People ask me, Master, what you eat today? I also answer. I will never say that, oh, this is a stupid question. You ask Master a stupid question. I, I don't want to answer you. Also, so it's a bit like hard. Because I feel that, that there is never a stupid question. As long as you ask me a question, right? No matter how weird the question is, I will try to answer you. Because by asking me a question, it means that you are watching my video, you are interacting with me, and you are trying to learn. If you don't ask any question, right? It means your your brain is sleeping. You turn off already. Then you are not thinking already. You are not analyzing. You, you are not learning already. Am I right? So as long as you ask a question, no matter how difficult the question, I appreciate your question. I, I won't say that it's a stupid question. So it has a bit of the concept from Hai Di Lao. Yeah, as long as you come to my restaurant, I, I will service you. But of course, you must spend money. Either you watch the advertisement or, or what. But you don't have to spend a lot. No need to tip me or, or what. As long as you come, you watch it, then you press the like button. Or if your friend is interested, you share with your friend. Oh, then I'm very happy already. So I'm happy to, to, to service you. Yeah, so yeah. Or thought I'm not feeling well. Like yesterday, I, I, I I'm, uh, was uh, doing the high di Lao deep dive. So usually this kind of deep dive, so you see my slides, right? Although I did my, I spent two days uh, to, to do my slides, right? Half day, half day, half day, yesterday and half day today. Uh, two half day uh, to, to do my slides. But I still do my hiking and, and feeding or um, playing with the cats, all this. Uh. So uh, my, uh, for me, right, I've done like months of research uh, on Haidi Lao. I watched the documentary, I read the book, all this. That's why I'm able to explain the Haidi Lao. Yeah. Whereas other YouTube videos you see like a 10 minute explanation of Haidi Lao. They show you all oh, the financial numbers. Oh, now it's no good due to the COVID restriction. Then 2023, oh, the Haidi Lao is very good uh, because of the reopening. But, but you don't understand what is, what is the story. You need to understand the story. Then you appreciate the numbers. Why the table turnover rate is like that? What's the average turnover rate? What, what is the potential the table turnover rate? Uh, what, what is the rent? For high di lao, or all this, so or all this, you must really do your research, right? Like go and study. Like I ask you, how many high di lao shareholder know what percentage of their rent uh, is the revenue? How many high di lao shareholder know what is the average stable turnover rate? What is the maximum? What is the minimum? What is the industry average? Yeah. So all this, right? You won't find it in the annual report, right? Yeah. You must uh go and study or go and see uh, other restaurant business. Look at documentary. Look at other articles, look at other people's research. Then it's through weeks and months of research. Then you, I come up with this deep dive. So it's similar to how I do the Ping An. Ah. Yeah, so I think a lot of people request for me to do the Hai Di Lao. Yeah, so finally I do already. So this kind of deep dive, ah, I cannot do every week. Ah. I do every week, Master, or, or very fast die already. Very fast, but once in a while I'll do. Ah. So usually I'll do it in like the non pick ah. So like, like uh, end of this month is the US earning season. So earning season, I, I don't do deep dive. Uh. Non-earning season, then maybe I do one or two uh, deep dives. Uh. So don't expect master every month or deep dive. Uh. Once in a while, then I do this kind of uh, super deep dive or like Hai Di Lao or, or Ping An. Uh, but this kind of deep dive is evergreen one. Uh, or like, like people, even like one month or a few months later, people will also come back and look at the deep dive. Or to check the conviction uh, in, 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 the, in the stock. Yeah. MK, I saw recently Hai Di Lao have a job opening for private tutor. Well, maybe next time go eat hot pot, then they give her children math tuition. So Hai Di Lao, right, in Singapore, right, the entry level, right, even UPSLE, right, they hire you, right, the basic is three to four thousand uh, sing dollar. Be it a local or be it a foreigner, uh, you work as a waitress, it is three to four thousand already. So it's like degree holder pay for, for the Hai Di Lao. Also, you want to try, if you think you're very hardworking, you can go in Hai Di Lao. And Hai Di Lao, right, uh, if you, let's say, uh, you Li Beijing, uh, from your hometown, you come and work Hai Di Lao, be it in Beijing, Shanghai, or in Singapore, they bao chi bao zhu, that means your, your food and stay is provided, and the dormitory that they give you, or uh, they got cleaner, help you tidy, 
then it's spacious so they treat their workers very well it's only by treating your workers well then your workers will, will treat the customers well gg master can you dance kermu san ah? master don't know how to dance the kermu san ah. yeah that one really must have skill one wow sexy eye bag ah. which one wow you like this one ah? wow this one wow this one wow if, if i would have uh, hi dilao i also wish that my, my dian zhang is this one ah. wow this one is quite chill there this one she she just i saw this documentary right she primary school dropped out already she i think 13 year old 14 year old come out and work already because uh, her, her family can't even pay her school fees she come from like the village area one she, she's from the Xiangchun one you know yeah that, then she worked hard in Haiti Lao uh, I think she started working for Haiti Lao 20 something uh, 20, in her 20s she worked at Haiti Lao so in her 30 or this I think she 30 or 32 like that uh, she become Dian Zhang already she's quite young uh, oh, her age is like early 30s 31 32 like that then she become Dian Zhang already yeah so and she has many many the two T then the then the, her disciple go on to to other shop to become the Dian Zhang yeah so primary school education from the village eh. then you see why wow, she can make a big money 120,000 100 to 120,000 uh, monthly eh, monthly eh, or as a Dian Zhang also oh, is very rewarding so it also shows that despite paying the, the employees so well, shareholders are also very well uh, rewarded. Hai Di Lao uh, revenues against earnings, I think the margins is about 10% like that. I forgot to I forgot to do the slides on margins. It's about 10% like that. 10% margin. So it's still very good. It's still very good. It is comparable to like Starbucks, uh, McDonald's, the, 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 the kind of margins. Yeah more like starbucks kind of margins yeah so so it's very good margins also yeah uh chun yuan sounds like insurance company Hai Di Lao also is like mlm like that right this one but but uh it's, it's the same thing it's motivation no? so insurance they actually use this model so example let's say I, i'm a, a insurance agent in let's say uh, aia or, or prudential so i join aia join, join prudential then i work 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 right then there's actually two paths one path is to be a specialist. That means I specialize in being an insurance agent, keep growing my customer base. Another uh, path to take is a team leader. So I focus on managing a team. So as a team leader, so as a specialist, right? Every day I just go road show. I go church, I go temple, I go everywhere. I go socialize uh, to just to make friends with more people so that I can sell more people. I go and do... Uh, charity la, whatever just social uh, I go to make new friends so so uh, that's a specialist you keep hunting hunting you sell to all your friends you sell to all your relatives you sell to everyone on, on the street uh, so so that's the speci specialist path then the insurance agent the other path is a team leader path as a team leader path right you will make advertisement that you are recruiting people to join you so uh, let's say your team got five people so every time they sell a product, right, you take a cut, maybe like twenty percent, or of the uh, the commission. Oh, so so, uh, so both have their pros and, and cons. Like the specialty pass, right? The, the harder you work, the more you earn, no? But but there's a there's a ceiling, lah. So so the, uh, because there's you one person, there's a limit to how many people you can sell, ma, and, and how many customers you can acquire every month. Whereas a team leader, right? Uh, your potential is unlimited you can have five people you can have 10 people you have 20 people you have even have 100 people uh, under you so they call it the mdrt la, million dollar round table la. so usually a lot of this high 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 those that are very high there right most mostly they are actually either they they sell like super high net worth one either you do super high net worth or you are a team leader you have like 10 20 people under you and everyone you you suck 20 percent then you what big big so Hai Di Lao this model is a bit similar also that you are the Dian Zhang you are a team leader then people that you you groom you teach them how, how to sell you teach them how to interact with customer you give them the financial knowledge the product knowledge you groom them and in the end the long term you you are rewarded also so it's also similar to to the insurance um, but they are 
But the surprising thing is that insurance, you are selling a product. But on the Heidi Lao store, you're not selling anything. You're actually just servicing the, the, the customer. Yet, this model works to make all your staff give that superb uh, service level. Yeah, so, so that's the magic uh, of this formula. Yeah. Oh, I see you are special. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow, what lah? Wow, oh, Johnson, yo. Thank you, thank you. Just wonder how much Baba am I holding? I'm holding about 10,000 shares of Baba lah. Oh, uh, Hong Kong 9988 lah. Hong Kong 9988. So I have 9,000 uh, Hong Kong 9988. Then I have a few hundred Baba in, in the US market. I think like, like 100 some, something shares of Baba. So together, it's about 10,000 shares of, of, of Alibaba uh, in the Hong Kong market. Thanks for support. Hua la, hua la. Okay, yeah. Ah, Chuna Fu, why suddenly talk about uh, Hai Di Lao? You came in late. Never mind. This, this deep dive, you can always re rewatch it. One. Yeah, you can always rewatch it. Yeah, today, see got lag or not. Yeah, luckily, no, no lag. Oh. I, I, when I do deep dive, I'm very worried that... that uh, uh, it, it will be like uh, lag or what? Wow, my screen ah, uh, wow, got a bit of quite quite. Uh, I think it's too cold uh. My aircon are uh, on too cold. Yeah, uh, then it, the screen is a bit dusty. So sorry about it. No le, I don't know why today. Why my, my screen like a bit like bur blurry like that. Okay, okay, really. Yeah, I think it's the weather. Like daytime is like super hot. Then at night now there's the aircon and, and all that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let, let me clean my, my the lens again. Don't know, is it? I don't know why from my view here I see one one white patch. Yeah, so, so this this is the cough that I clean my the uh spectacle lens. So I clean my the camera lens from, from my the laptop. Yeah. So I hope it's better. I still the same la. I think it's the lighting la, lighting la. Master wow very bright. Eh. Today I look especially bright. I don't know why. Eh. I never change any setting. Uh like my face is like glowing, glowing like that. Yeah. Daniel Zhang, the C, ex, the ex CEO Daniel Zhang is exactly the same name, the same name. Also Zhang Yong, the, the the spelling is exactly the same. So their surname is Zhang, and their name is Yong, Yong Chi the Yong, courage, yeah. All the all the Zhang Yong, but Zhang Yong surprisingly they they have a very good manager and, and performing. Ma is even better. Ma Hua Teng, Ma Yun, wow. Ma Ma and Zhang is, is very strong. But I, I'm Leong, I'm Liang. Liang, that's why Master Liang not successful. Uh, but, but Liang, I have the Liang Zhiqiang, Liang Zhiqiang, entertainment industry. Yeah, you are Ma Tong, toilet bowl. Wow, so funny. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jared, the complicated structure of Hai Di Lao, upstream, downstream, also con uh, controlled by Zhang Yong, made it a bit shady. Yeah, so this is the part that you must feel comfortable. Though. The upstream and downstream is all controlled by Zhang Yong. Is the major shareholder and you don't own it. But so far, I think he's quite fair to, to the Hai Di Lao and the shareholders. So can he continue to be fair? So so that, that, that's the big question. If you don't think so, then you then you don't want this stock already. Yeah, that, that's one of the risks, uh, the upstream and, and downstream business. Uh, we don't have control over that. Yeah. Tiger Shark, landlord like Ling Wits and Capital Land, very scared of big brands like Hai Di Lao and Uniqlo. One complaint from brand manager can alarm the HQ leasing department. Yeah, because when they ran, they ran from like 20, 30, 50 of your shopping mall. They have a lot of bargaining power. The landlord are, are, are at the mercy of all these uh, big brands like, like McDonald's, Starbucks, uh, Hai Di Lao, Uniqlo. So big brands that uh, have a lot of com commanding power. That's, that's why I, I like to invest in, in all these big brands. Whereas if you are an individual retail like me, you pay very high price. Not only... So, uh, example, uh, uh, when you rent a shop, right? Big brands, right? They pay only like a fixed uh, money renter. Small brands, right? Not only they pay money renter, they take a percentage of your revenues. Your rental might be like, uh, let's say, 20,000 per month plus 3% uh, of your revenues. So sometimes you, uh, your, your lease is structured this way, right? when, especially when it comes to uh, retail. Yeah, so, so it's not easy do, doing retail. Right? The landlord usually have a lot of power, but the situation is reversed when your brand is so strong that your brand is able to bring in the, the food traffic 
like like Starbucks and, and McDonald's. Yeah. The waitress is Chobu. Uh. I think my, my, my entire sharing, oh, the best part is this one. Uh. You only remember the, the waitress. Uh. Yeah. The 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 Kermu san some of the the waiter is very handsome man you know, some of the 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 uh, waitress right they do the Kermu san right, they become famous right they quit Hai Di Lao they become Wang Hong they have like few million uh follower, then the 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 guy right uh become famous is through Hai Di Lao he work as a waitress but he dance so well then he go viral then he do his own uh Douyin account. Then he become an influencer, he become a Wang Hong. Yeah. So Hai Di Lao, you can become Wang Hong. Sunflower, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you actually this Kermu San is very difficult dance. Uh. It's not easy. Uh. There's also some of the Hai Di Lao stuff that are very introvert one. You have to dance, very awkward. Then people comment a lot. So it's a very tough job uh, being a, a, a employee. If me, I if I work at the Hai Di Lao, I think uh, for one day I will resign already. So actually, I I worked before uh F and B. Uh, though I I think I might have shared this experience before. When I finished my old levels, uh, it's like half a year do part time job ma. Then master come from humble family, so so do some part time job. So the first job I did is work for my friend the coffee shop at Masterling. I I work one month I resign already. So it's like morning ten a.m. have to be there already. Then work twelve hours until 10 p.m. 12 hour never sit down one. Walk around, I didn't see me, ah, copy ping, ah, my, my little siu tai, or oh, whatever la, ah, buy the head la, or oh, tiger la, give me scalp la, chiki la, then take the order, order. So it, it's, it's very laborious. Then my legs very tired, I cannot take it. One month I, I, I stop already, it's $50 per day. Then another F&B job I did before is, uh, uh my, also my, my, my friend, the auntie, the shop la at the Tama Jurong Market there, sell the prawn noodle one. Don't know now still there or not. So the prawn noodle, right, very sh uh, sh short working hour. Every day go and work two hours only. Uh, the the pay was, I think, $14 per hour. So I work two hours, I get $28 uh, per day. Only work two hours. What to do there is to peel the prawn shell. Every day go there, two hours, peel the prawn shell. So after all the prawn shell is peeled, right, the first they will boil all, all the prawn. So all the prawn is cooked already. Cooked already, you peel all the shell. The cooked meat, they, they put one side. So when you order, then they put the, the, the cooked prawn in, into the bowl. The shell, they will use the prawn shell to fry it. Then put all the spices. After they fry it, then they put the, 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 the hot water. Then they boil it to become the soup. Then the soup is brown color one. Very thick, very fragrant. The umami, wow, oh, is the best. So, so, yeah, so two hours to peel the prawn shell. Then peel onto my hand, all the skin, uh, all, wow, all rot, uh, all peel already. That I do until I cry. Uh, wow, I cannot take hardship. I think I do uh, two weeks. Uh, I do two weeks, I quit already. So I work one month at the coffee shop, uh, two weeks at the prawn store. So I know, from that point, I know that master me, right, I cannot do laborious job. Uh, I cannot take hardship. Uh, so end up, I went to play Magic the Gathering card game. I play tournament. No? So I win tournament, then I sell my, 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 my tournament games, my, those card and booster pack uh, to become money. So I become a tournament hunter. So I can only make money using my, 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 my head. If I use my hand to make money, I cannot make money because I, I cannot take the hardship. Yeah. So that's some sharing. Uh. Oh, master the... the, the, the yeah. Cash 11. I don't like the noodle dance. Fling the food around is unhygienic. The guy sweat and touch, almost touch the floor. Yeah. I also don't li like the noodle dance. I'd rather just immediately put the noodle in. But the noodle is very nice. The noodle is very nice. Especially when your soup, right? You cook a lot of meat already. The soup is very oily, very thick. Ah. Then you cook the noodle, then you eat. Wow, the noodle, damn nice. Yeah. I like the tomato soup and the mala soup. These two my, 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 my favorite. MK, we always have birthday person when we go Hai Di Lao. Every time also birthday. Uh. You want the free birthday cake and the dance. Uh. <laughs> Every time both them say it's the birthday. Uh. 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 Yeah, Chu Kek Yong, yeah, Chinese company. If you can 
be the winner in China, you can compete everywhere. Because China is the most competitive. If you are a champion in China, you are a champion of the world. China is, is really the, the free market. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, the three yap, uh, uh, the, the yang, uh, san zi yang, uh, is also the, the hot pot. Uh. During the COVID, the, the san zi yang, they also closed 20% of their, their shop. Yeah, it's also hot pot one. But san zi yang, I think, mostly is, is in China. Asia don't know have or not. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yesterday I didn't stream, uh, I need to do my slides, uh. today I prepare 30 slides, that's why. Yeah, Looney, welcome, welcome. Yeah. So Hai Di Lao La, Ding Tai Fung ah, wow, recession people also eat. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Very strong brand. Boon Master, do you think Hai Di Lao has a mode? Yes, it has a mode. So their their mode is their service. Oh, that, that not other shops are able to replicate. They have a very unique model that, that is difficult to balance. So like you go to other hot pot, they, they are, uh, uh, which which restaurant you go to, the service is as good as Hai Di Lao. Only Hai Di Lao, they are able to give this kind of insane god tier service. Uh. Only Hai Di Lao can, can do it uh, somehow. So I think that's the mode. Uh. But but uh, I do have friends who go every week, every month. Uh. They, they like to be being treated like a king. Uh, for me, I choose another direction. So Hai Di Lao, the business is very good, right? Then, but no matter what, they have to pay renter. So I choose to be the landlord of Hai Di Lao. So I, I buy the Ling Wheat, so I own the shopping malls and the Hai Di Lao pay me the rental. I choose to be the landlord. So you want to be a landlord, can make money. You want to be the restaurant Hai Di Lao, also can make money. You want to be the streaming platform like Taobao, Zipo, for Hai Di Lao to sell the Hai Di Lao goods, also can make money. So which one to, to be? To be the live streaming platform, to be the landlord, or to be the restaurant, up to you. You, which you invest which one also can make money but you must buy at the right price you must understand the business if you understand the business you have the conviction if it crashes you'll buy more and you won't panic sell yeah so in the end it must be within your circle of competence oh nong fu san Quan is on the hong kong exchange ah. 9633 thank you thank you nong fu san Quan is uh the the ceo is the richest guy uh in, in china so the the uh I think the the what Gui Zhou Mao Tai la then the Hong Kong don't have, but uh more and more of these China blue chips right they are all slowly listing in Hong Kong, so Hong Kong uh will will see more of this listing lor like eventually la, I think Mao Tai la Meng Niu la all these they will list in Hong Kong I think Meng Niu maybe also list in Hong Kong already I forget already, but the Hansen Index more and, will have more and more all these consumer brands la. yeah. Yeah, I think I talk too much. Uh. Then it's too cold. <laughs> then I got, got the miss. Uh. Got the miss. Yeah. Now is it better or not? Oh no. I think it's, it's my sliver. Uh. It's my sliver got the miss. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boss, my, my, the uh, camera is just right in front of me. Yeah, now still got the miss or not? Yeah, got the miss. Oh, it's, I think it's a permanent thing. Uh. Oh no, I think spoil already. Uh. My camera spoil already. Uh. Oh no, I'm very scared. Uh, my, my camera spoil. Uh. My, my laptop is one one and one month plus old already. Or is it because of my lighting? Or what? I don't know. Wait, I'm going to check, check my, my, my the lighting. Is it affecting? No, leh. Or is it my camera spoil already? I also don't know. Uh, but never mind. Uh. Uh, at least my, my the share the screen should 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 be no problem. Just that you all cannot see me clearly though. There's there's this glow on my face uh, that the middle of it like glow. Master go to heaven already. Master go go to heaven already. Master, there's this white, white color thing. White color. There's this white color aura on me. Uh. I don't know why there. Uh. How come there's this white color aura on me? Yeah. Other thing. Hi. Why hi the loud the PE. Ratio getting cheaper over uh, the six years. Uh. So, Hai Di Lao, when the IPO that time, it was trading at 50 and went as high as 60, 70 times earnings uh, when it did the I IPO. So, that, that was very expensive. Yeah. Because it was growing at 50%. That's why the PE ratio 50, 60, uh, se even 70 times. Yeah. Use hand can wipe man. Use hand to wipe will have the 
will have the will have the fingerprint mark. You see, even more blur. I use my hand to wipe. Cannot use hand to wipe. This is a lens. Eh. Lens can use hand to wipe. You see, it's even more blur. This is the this is the cough to clean the 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 spectacles are uh, my spectacle cough so i use it to 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 clean i need to put some water is it I need to put water is it i don't know that why have this glow ah uh. master you see yeah oh, quite, 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 quite glow there eh. ah master go to heaven already master go to heaven already <laughs> i also don't know yeah, today talk hot uh. today very casual uh. very casual yeah Edmund Choi, uh, ML, J Powell and Ka 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 Kashkari say conflicting things. Uh. Yeah, I still think it's two or three cards. Uh. If there's no card, the US market will crash. Uh. It's either two or three cards. Uh. Uh, three card is bullish, two card is bearish. Yeah, so it's be between that. Yeah. Is high Tilao a value trap? Uh? I, I, I think it's not a value trap. Uh. I think it's like McDonald, Starbucks, all this. Uh. It's a consumer stock. That is fairly priced, ah. it is a good brand, ah. it's a very strong brand. Ah. Like you think about hot pot, right? The first thing you come to mind is the Hai Di Lao already. Number one already. Hot pot number one is confirmed Hai Di Lao already. Yeah. SC Wang, your analysis on Hai Di Lao is very detailed. You can't find it. Yeah. Mine is very detailed. Because for me, right, uh, I see hi, when I look analyze a stock, right, I see it from a, a business owner. Not not as just a stock investor. So this teaching, right, it comes from Warren Buffett, it comes from Peter Lynch, it comes from this what, Philip Fisher, common stock, uncommon profit. So uh, it's, it's like, are you, uh, how to have conviction and how to know if a good company or not? You must study the company as if you are a business owner, like whether you really want to own the business. Example, example let's say a person want to, your friend uh, owns a chicken rice business. He want to sell you the chicken rice business, 50% stake. Then, of course, you will go and see ma, the, his chicken rice store, what's the location, what are his customers, one, one day can sell 300, 500 plate or what. What is the profit margin? What is the chicken rice, the supplier? What's the name of the supplier? How often they supply? Uh, what, what is the margins uh, that they make? Then, in the end, after doing a few months research, then you will put down the money to buy the 50% stake. Of the chicken rice business from your friend so I, I approach stock investing from a business point business owner point of view that's why my deep dive is very detailed one you, you won't find any, anything this detailed online one that where i covered the high tilao i covered the ping an my i dare to say on, on youtube my is the most detailed one so for now right uh, because i believe now is a good time to have this format in the past, most people, they only watch 10 minute video. They won't watch a, a one hour video on this, but now it's different. Now the trend is like short form video, either it's very short, one minute, very concise, or high Lao PE 20, growth rate how much, buy. Or it's very uh, interactive, very detailed, like live streaming. So now because live streaming is so called booming, lah, so I think my format suits live, live streaming. Like live streaming can be, some people they stream can stream 2-3 hour one in, in China, even like 5 hour live stream also have. So some of them they call it like, uh, 讲师, uh, 讲师 lecture or, or 知识博主. So there's this category, uh, so, so that's why I'm attacking into this category, like knowledge sharing. Uh, then that's why live stream is a very good format to, to, to do this. But I think like for now, uh, this is just the beginning. Uh, uh, I'm just like, uh, this is like a new format on, on, on YouTube, bro. but I believe that you see, two, three years later, right, I believe more people will do what I'm doing. They will talk about a company using live stream and they, they can go uh, very deep. Uh, in the US, they call it podcast, podcast uh, or podcast. Uh, example, recently you all talked about the Joseph Tsai, the podcast interview uh, with the Norwegian bank. So it's just like two persons sitting down and talk about the company and they go very deep, they answer a lot of questions. So in the Western world, it's called uh, uh, podcast. <laughs> but, but, but then this is the new format, no? be it uh, on YouTube or, 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 or in China, the, the, the Douyin 
哦哦 ，in b i l i b i l i 啊，所以说 live stream 嘛 ，live stream long format， 所以 podcast 呃、uh, ，can also do do live also， yeah。So Jackie Lee Chun Yuan, do they own the place they operate? Mostly they rent, lah. They they don't own. They don't. They are more a set like, lah. Yeah. Do they have to pay a franchise fee and rental to Zhang Yong? No need, no need. Uh, at, when we own the Hai Di Lao, we own the brand. Hai Di Lao International Holding. Uh, we own the brand. Yeah, but we don't own the upstream and downstream business. So uh, there's no franchise fee, lah. Yeah, and the Hai Di Lao. They don't operate as a franchise model. They operate as a owner owner model. Means shareholder and employee. Uh, employee they can also inject capital into the shop also. If if I'm not wrong, example when you open a new shop, then you maybe you need uh, uh two million, then they can sell a one percent stake at twenty thousand to the employee. Then the employee which is the 店长啊 The 店长 own sell will put in twenty thousand and have one percent ownership, uh, in the shop. So you don't see one percent is just a small small percentage. Yeah, one percent right when they earn the money is is like six figure one. You know, like I tell you lah, the 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 店长 the 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 sharing can can be six figure one. The the highest paid 店长 right have a lot of 徒弟 and they have ownership in in uh the the shops also. So the highest paid 店长 I remember in the interview, right, is uh, 六百万六百万 is six million RMB. The most successful 店长 in Hai Di Lao makes six million lah. Uh, uh, per year lah, per year, per year. Yeah, one year can make six million. The most successful 店长 Yeah, so is is that their model is is quite different lah. Yeah, yeah. So Johnson Yo, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so. Uh, Jim Lam, have you covered SMIC? Uh, I covered their results, ah, but it's not a deep dive, ah. I don't really know as much, ah. Like, uh, semiconductor industry and EV industry, I'm still learning, but I covered their results, but but it's not really a a deep dive, ah. But but in future, ah, I might cover. Jeff Lu, DBS drop now. Is it time to buy? No, it's only X dividend. It have an X B, lah. X bonus, it will come down to thirty dollars, ah. You want to buy DBS when it's thirty dollar or below, lah. Yeah, now it's still very expensive, ah. One point five times book value. Yeah, you want, uh, don't don't buy DBS, ah. Banks now is all time high, lah. DBS, the be the price to book or the price is is on the high, lah. Below thirty, then then you consider. Yeah, TL chart, uh, ML. The risk is the government intervention. Government why why they they are just selling hot pot, ma. They're not doing anything wrong, ah. So I don't think government will interfere with. The government usually food business not much, uh, government risk, ah. Whereas like social media, or that one a lot of risk, ah. Like Douyin, Kuaiso, all these like censorship, ah. Media and game related, like like Tencent, all these, or e-commerce, ah. That there's more more government risk. Hmm. Food business usually not much risk, ah. It's very well established. Ah, as long as. You follow the rules. People don't eat your food, kind of food poisoning. All this should be okay already, lah. And and they have a very good track record, lah. Like Hai Di Lao, you see all the food is very clean, uh, very safe because all the food is uh prepared in the central kitchen. They 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 actually don't prepare the food behind like everything is central kitchen one. Then they just send the food to the restaurants. They just serve you only. That they also save space, lor. So the restaurant is just about preparing food. There's no cooking. Ah, there's no cooking done. Uh, at the restaurant at all. Yeah, it's all central. But that's the business model for F and B already. Yeah. Dark series is this a pyramid scheme? Ah, <laughs> MLM. Ah, yeah. You watch the whole thing. Ah, you will understand. Ah, yeah. I'm eating high di lao. Ah, that's why blur image. Ah, that's why master master be be become ah master be become got aura already. Master go to go to heaven already, yeah. So, prawn noodle in Tama Jurong still have ah? Is it? If you eat got the prawn noodle in Tama Jurong, that one is my 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 friend the the parent one ah should be quite old already ah. When I work for them, they are in their forties. Then my my old level holiday lor. If they are now still working, I'm I'm forty one ma. Then the the store owner should be in their sixties already. Ah yeah. So so you know lah, wow, eh, prawn those hot. I respect F and B the most ah, 
F and B is very tough. Uh. Like you see, you eat the prawn noodle, four dollar, five dollar. They peel the prawn skin, uh, peel until all the hand are uh, all white color already. The skin all seasoned already. Because the prawn, the head it got all the thorns, all this one. So peel the the but the head uh wow it is very tough. Uh. No joke. Uh. It's like uh two hours, right? I peel at least three to five hundred prawn uh, every day. Every day. Just go there and peel 300, 500 pound. Then you get $28. That was my part-time job. I do two weeks, cannot already. It's very tough, uh, but, but the pay is good. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Desmond Ho. Did your research show any competitors in the hot pot business that can rival Hai Di Lao? Uh, got the San Zi Yang. Uh. Actually, the hot pot business in China, right? It's very segregated. Uh. It means um, a lot of competition, right? It's not those uh, chain, it's not those chain, it's all those like mom and pop, bro. Yeah, a lot of those small brands, though. So, like the small hot pot shop, right? People will go because they know the owner. Then they will drink beer, all this. They have a relationship. Uh, huh? They are close with the owners, all this. Uh. But hot pot in China, I think there are only three main brands. Uh. The, the other brand, I forget already. Yeah, but but when you think of the, that's why you see like I ask you, you think about hot pot. Can you think of another brand of hot pot? No ma, no ma. Example in Singapore, I I can name a few hot pot brand. Hai Di Lao, the number two brand I would say is Beauty in a Pot, because I have a lot of female friend, and my female friend they like to go uh to, to the the Beauty in the Pot. That's for Chinese hot pot lah. But the hot pot business, right, you're not competing against other Chinese brands. Like in Singapore, uh, people eat hot pot, right? There's also like the Japanese brand, like Shabu Shabu, uh, all this. Ma. There's also the Korean hot pot, like the Seoul Garden also. So uh, there are a lot of hot pot brands actually, but I'm not really an eater of hot pot. But, but it's, there are a lot of brands uh, in, in F&B. It's very difficult to, to stand out. Just like, example, if you ask me, uh, Master uh, McDonald's, who is the competitor of McDonald's? Then I can only name KFC only. Other fast food is like what? what Moss Burger, Burger King. I don't really see them as rivals. So there are many, that you talk about fast food, right? There are so many brands, easily 10, 20 different fast food brands. But the one that can rival McDonald's, I will say maybe it's KFC. Lor. Yeah, so these two are the most because the brand is so strong that you think about fast food immediately you think mcdonald kfc so if i think about uh let's say uh, uh hot pot immediately is Heidi Lao. if i think about uh coffee now I think about starbucks lucking coffee yes you ask me master if who is the competitor of lucking coffee starbucks huh? <laughs> so immediately you should be able to think about it already you don't have to search the internet if we have to search the internet for that brand, right? That means the brand is not strong. <laughs> Example, Coca-Cola, who is the rival? Pepsi. We don't have to search for it because we are so exposed to the brand every day. Yeah, so you think about Heidi Lao. If you cannot think about a competitor, then there is no competitor. But but there is la, but the competitor is like so many different brands, lor. Yeah, so so yeah. If somebody have to Google search for your brand, right? That means your brand is not strong. Am I right? If your brand is strong, people have it in their mind. They, they think of the product. They, they, they know. The, the first thing they think about is, is, your, is your brand already. Yeah. A, a, example, you, I think about a car. Uh, what, what brand? Toyota, Mitsubishi, Volkswagen, Mercedes, uh, Ferrari. So, so you don't have to search for it. If you, if you have to search for it, then the brand is not strong. That, that, that's how I think about it. Oh, alright, alright. Yeah, snap my finger. Elena Lim, welcome, welcome. Oh, Elena Lim, hope you also got it, the Hai Di Lao. Oh, this deep dive will, will be uh, uh, useful for you. Yeah. Yeah, ah, yeah. Mr. Toko, you know, Scott Butterling, Philip Fisher, common stock, uncommon profit. Uh. So I'm an old school investor. That's why I uh, I research a company like I'm, I'm a business owner like that. Also, get you all enjoy the, the sharing. So, thank you, Clement. Hope that you enjoy the deep dive. So, all don't, don't formal to buy the Hai Di Lao. La. If you want to buy uh, DCA, lo, 
So example, if I were to invest in Hai Di Lao, right, I will divide into three bullet. Maybe at $17.50 level, I fire one bullet. Then if it comes down to $15, I, I might fire a, a second bullet. Then $12, a third bullet. Uh, yeah, so if it comes down, I buy. Lor. If it go up, I, I won't buy. Lor. But I think $17.50, because $17.80 was the IPO price. Ma. So I don't think it, it is a mistake. Lah. Or example, am I right? Because uh, many years ago, two zero one eight six year ago ma six year ago people pay seventeen eighty leh. Now six year later I can buy at the same IPO price. I think I tan tio ah. I kill Liu Lian already. Am I right? I I under I under cut cut them ma. And in fact, Hai Di Lao during the COVID period they did a, a equity raising. Uh, they they do it the placement ah. They did placement to institutional investors and the founder. At about twenty two dollar, so you buy at seventeen eighty or less is already a good price relative to placement and IPO. Am I right? Because the the, the stock price went nowhere for six years. Now then you come in you earn already ma. Those that bought in the IPO they are still stuck. Eh? They stuck for six years. Eh? Now you come in come in you 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 kill. Eh? Am I right? So I think seventeen eighty or below is okay to fire a first bullet. But you won't bet big lah because it's not cheap. It's fa fairly priced lah. Then if it comes down lower, fifteen dollar, twelve dollar, then you want to add more. That will be how I I I will trade the stock lah. In, in that sense lah. Yeah. Ah, beauty in the pot is very popular. All my female friends talk about beauty in the pot, but I never eat before. Or they they say it will be the fall, then you go eat lah. I I I don't eat lah. I'm not into hot pot lah. Yeah. So Jared, Jer Jer Soul Garden, Soul Garden last time walk, la, my friend tell me 20 year never eat la, jim, jim pai jia, is it? My, I told my friend next time eat maybe 20 year, not nice, no good la, Soul Garden. Last time is do the BBQ one, then now I think they change to hot pot. Yeah, I you see Baba, you think about master la. Yeah, so, so same for YouTube ma, you must, you must think who are the top uh, influencer. So it, it, uh, in Singapore, it, when it comes to let's say uh, top finance YouTuber about the stock stocks ah, so I will I I will think about Adam Ku. I will think about Chicken Genius. So I hope to be one day as famous as Adam Ku, as famous as uh, Chicken Genius or having like, oh, I think I can reach that level. Uh, I think I I will eventually reach that level. Of course, not overnight lah. Maybe give me five years, eight years, ten years. Eventually, I I, I will be there lah. Because if I look at Chicken Genius and, and Adam Cool, right? I don't think my my content, uh, my my knowledge ah is, is like say, uh, lowest lower than than them. Oh, but but of course, they are they are strong in different areas lah. Like, like Adam Cool is strong in, uh, U.S. market. Uh, then he knows option. He knows the uh, TA. Then Chicken Genius is like a high growth stock, a tech stock, a cryptocurrency. Then for me, I, I, I'm mostly like Hong Kong market, consumer stocks, la, Singapore REITs. La, Singapore, uh, then we each uh, have a different circle of competence. But but within my circle of competence, I think that I'm as strong as them. Yeah, just that I, I'm new on YouTube. Ma, then I, I, it will take time for me to grow. Yeah, so hopefully uh, five or ten years later, Master 100,000 subscriber, 1 million subscriber. Yeah, so if you want to help Master uh, get there faster, help me like and share the video. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for tonight. Uh. So thanks all for coming in. Also, oh, get you enjoy. Yeah, thanks again. Oh, oh Johnson Yo, hot la, hot la. So once again, a oh, special thanks to Johnson Yo and Cameron. Hope you all oh, enjoyed my the Hai Di Lao sharing. Uh. Well, I think a lot of people thinking whether to buy or not. Hai Di Lao can buy or not. So I hope today my, my the deep dive have answered your question. Uh. Yeah. So yeah. So once Baba fly, you can get more views. Uh. Hopefully. Uh. Hopefully once the whole Hong Kong market starts to go, my, my channel will go. So so take care all, have a good rest, have a good weekend.